Shrade Quick Tips. Sharpen your skills. In this Shrade Quick Tip video, you'll discover a quick way to build a survival bow in the wild. Hang around until the end of this video to learn how to build this life-saving hunting tool from start to finish and get a few tips from our experts along the way. In a wilderness survival scenario, the ability to meet the body's list of physical needs is crucial. While food is typically at the bottom of the list in a short-term situation, it does become a major focus after other more immediate needs are met. A quickie survival bow is an excellent choice for closing the gap between you and your next meal. To build a survival bow, you'll need a good strong piece of cordage, preferably 8 to 10 feet in length. A fresh piece of paracord will work well for this. You'll also need a sharp full tang knife that is capable of both light chopping tasks and fine detailed carving, like our SCH F51 and SCH F52 bushcraft blades. While it isn't absolutely necessary, a small folding saw, like the one in our Schrade Tough Tool ST1NB, will come in handy for placing precision notches in the ends of the bow for attaching the bowstring later. The first step to making any survival bow from scratch is to select the bow stave itself. Since this is a quickie bow, you'll be using a young green tree or sapling. It's best to use a hardwood variety of tree like eastern red cedar, ash, hickory, black locust, or beech. When selecting your tree, look for a section that is nearly branch-free about six feet long, very straight, and around one to two inches in diameter. Now use your survival knife to harvest your tree. For tips on felling a tree with a knife, see our video in this series. After retrieving the bow stave, stand it straight up in front of you and trim up the ends so that its total length comes up to about chin height. Using a saw or ax, like our SCAXE9 for this, will leave the stave with nice even ends. With the bow stave trimmed to the proper length, it's now time to begin crafting your bow. When carving a bow, it is crucial that material not be removed from the back of the bow. This will be the side facing your target when the bow is finished. Doing so will drastically reduce the strength of the bow, causing it to snap under tension. So use extreme care when removing any branches from the back of the bow, since even the slightest mistake can leave tiny cut marks that could reduce the overall strength and longevity of the bow. Now, using your survival knife, begin removing materials from the limbs of the bow on the belly side only. A light chopping technique will drastically speed up this process. Continue removing material from the belly of the bow until the limbs begin to bend nicely when pressure is applying to them. At this point, play it safe and switch to a more detailed carving technique. Removing less material with each pass will take longer, however, you will be less likely to make irreversible mistakes. With the limbs of the bow thinned and tapered down to the tips, like this, it's now time to notch the ends of the limbs and begin the tillering process to ensure that the bow is symmetrical and that both limbs bend equally under pressure. This can be done in the field using the bowstring itself. Now use your saw to carefully carve two notches at the end of each limb. Ideally, the notches should be on the sides of the limbs and angled slightly downward towards the belly of the bow. This will help make sure the bowstring is seated securely once the bow is strung. With the notches carved, it's time to string the bow. Do this by first tying a permanent knot to one end of the bow. An overhand knot will do. Place this tip of the bow on the ground, resting against your foot. Step over the bow with your opposing leg and put the bow under tension against the bottom of your thigh. With the bow under tension, tie the other end of the string to the bow. Place the back of the bow to the ground, and with the string facing upwards, place your feet onto the bow. By pulling on the string, you should be able to see if the two limbs of the bow are flexing evenly. If the limbs are not symmetrical, simply unstring the bow and continue removing material where needed. Once both limbs of the bow are flexing evenly, you'll need to adjust the string length to put the bow under the proper tension. A good rule of thumb for this is to simply make a fist and place the base of your fist onto the belly of the bow. Extend your thumb upwards. The string should rest at about the same level as the tip of your thumb when the bow is strung. The only remaining step is to make the arrows for your new survival bow, which we will cover in a future quick tip video. It's important to remember that shooting any bow takes training and practice. 
So before you end up in a survival situation, hone your archery skills so you have the confidence you need to put meat on the table no matter how bad things get. For more survival and bushcraft skills, be sure to check out our other videos in this series. While you're at it, visit www.shrade.com to see our full assortment of quality axes, knives, and accessories. But for now, be sure to click the subscribe button to subscribe to our Shrade Knives YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Ways you can connect with Shrade are in the description below, along with other great tips and relevant info. To discover more about the gear used in this video, check out the links in the video description on YouTube. Visit Shrade.com or take a trip to your local outdoor gear retailer.